Hey everybody, welcome to the guided assignment for chapter 19. Um, this is a joint cost allocation problem. I think it's one of the easier problems we'll see. Uh, so hopefully, um, hopefully it will it will kind of outline the, the process and you can then apply that over to the homework. Um, anyway, so this is the lovely lotion ink, which name makes me a little uncomfortable, but hey, I didn't choose it. Anyway, it produces three different lotions. They have hand, body, and foot lotions. And the lotions are produced jointly in a mixing process that costs $250 per batch. At the split off point, one batch produces 80, 40, and 25 bottles of hand, body, and foot lotion respectively. After the split off point, hand lotion is sold immediately for $2.50 per bottle. Body lotion is processed further at an additional cost of 25 cents per bottle and then sold for 575 per bottle. Foot lotion is processed further at an additional cost of 85 cents per bottle and then sold for $4 per bottle. Assume the body and foot lotion could be sold at the split off point for $3 and $3.20 per bottle, respectively. Okay, that's a ton of information. They just kind of barf it all over you, don't they? And then you're just left with all of this info to make decisions from. Um, uh, and real life accounting can be like that, or although a lot of times it, it, it feels like the, the information comes at you a little more organically, not just in a written word problem. So um, we're going to use the market value at split off method to allocate the joint costs. Um, so we'll start with the bottles per batch. And like it said, we can do uh, 80, 40, and 25. So 80 bottles of hand lotion, 40 bottles of body lotion, and 25 bottles of foot lotion. This gives us 145 bottles total from one batch. And then the market value per bottle at the split off, uh, it tells us so our hand lotion, its market value at split off is the same as its market value at the end of the process because um, we sell it immediately. So the market value per bottle at spin off is 250 for hand lotion. And then right here, $3. Um, for body lotion and 320 for foot lotion. So our total market value at the split off is just our, our market value per bottle times the number of bottles. So 80 times 250, $200. 40 times three is 120 and 25 times 320, which is $80. Add that all up, and that comes up to $400. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the percentage of the total market value uh, for each product. OK, the, so, uh, so for hand lotion, if its total market value is 200, and the total market value overall is 400, we'll just take 200 divided by 400 and we'll say that comes out to 0.5 or 50% of the market value is going to be for the hand lotion at the split off point. We can do the same thing, 120 divided by 400 is 30% for the body lotion. And we know it has to add up to 100%. So 80 divided by 40 or 80 divided by 400 is 20%. Our joint costs that told us up here were $250 per batch. So we're going to say $250 all the way down. And really, all we're doing is allocating those joint costs, right? And so when we use the market value at split off method, all we're really doing is saying, OK, what's the percentage for each product of the market value at split off? We'll multiply that percentage times the joint costs, and that'll give us the amount to allocate. So. 50% times 250 is 125. 30% uh, times 250 is 75. And 20% times 250 is $50. So we're going to allocate that $250 in. Uh, joint costs uh, in this way. So question two is a little weird, uh, like it was so 
I don't know, obvious, like when I read it, that I thought, am I reading it wrong? Like that, is it too easy? Um, so it says a lotion manufacturing company produces three types of lotions. After the split off point, the company continues to sell the body lotion and makes 25 cents profit per bottle. The foot lotion uh, generates a five cent loss per bottle if it continues after the sell off split point. Which lotion should be continued after the split off? And I'm like, well, okay. So the body lotion makes a profit and the foot lotion makes a loss. So I guess they want me to say body lotion, but it almost seemed too easy, but they really do, I guess, want you to recognize that uh, a 25 cent gain or profit is better than a five cent loss. So thanks Cengage for pointing that out. So there we are on the first parts there. All right, so part three, and now we're gonna allocate the joint costs of production to each product using the net realizable value method. Um, so it's just another method we can use. Um, and again, it's pretty easy. Uh, and in fact, the first parts are the same, uh, just like we talked about in the lecture. So the first thing, we'll start with the bottles per batch, which is the same as up top. There are 80 hand lotion, 40 body lotion, 25 foot lotion, for a total of 145 bottles. The market value at split off was 250, $3 and 320. And then to find the total market value at split off, we just multiply those out 80 times 250, which is 200, 40 times $3, which is 120, and 25 times 320, which is $80. Add those up, we get 400. So here's where it gets a little bit different. Now we're gonna do our market price per bottle. We can look up here and we can see that our market price for the uh, hand lotion is $2.50 per bottle. That's how much we're gonna sell it for. And then we can see that the body lotion is $5.75. And the Foot lotion is $4. Then we're going to do our added cost per bottle. So the hand lotion is sold immediately, meaning there's no additional added processing costs. So the added cost per bottle would be zero. The body lotion it tells us there's an additional cost of 25 cents per bottle, and then it's sold for 575. So that's 0.25. And the foot lotion as an added cost of 85 cents per bottle. So here we are, have NRV, which is our net realizable value. That means how much are we gonna make on this uh, per bottle? So we just take the market price minus the added cost. 575 minus 25 is 550. $4 minus 85 is 315. And then our total net realizable value is just going to be our net realizable value per bottle times the number of bottles. So for hand lotion, that's going to be 80 times 250. dollars uh, 40 times 550 for the body lotion. 220. And 25 times 315 the foot lotion, 7875. This next column will put the greater of the total NRV and total market value at split off. So here we can see the market value at split off and the NRV total, sorry. So total market value at split off and the total realizable value. So this one, it's the same. Why? Because there's no additional processing after the split off. For the body lotion, 120 at split off, 220 net realizable. And then for the foot lotion, you'll see that the market value at spin off or split off is actually higher than the net realizable value. We'll put that, it's the higher of the two. What this tells us honestly is that um, it's worth it to continue to process the body lotion, right? But not really worth it to, for, for the foot lotion. We'll just sell it. Um, after the split off, we won't continue to process it further. 
So we can add all those up to $500. Now we can find the proportion of each of these. So 200 out of 500 is 40%. And then 220 is 44% which leaves 16% or 80 out of 500. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna apply those joint costs. So the joint costs were 250. And then we'll multiply them out. 250 times 0.4. Probably could have done that in my head, but I didn't. 100, 250 times 0.44, 110. Probably should have done that in my head too. And then 250 times 16, which should come out to what, $40? And there's our total allocation. So again, we're just using these two different processes to allocate those joint costs to the products. In the first one, we use the market value at the split off. And here, and the second one, we use the, the greater of the market value at split off or the re net realizable value. And uh, again, either way works. Probably the second one's a little bit better for this product just because it gives us a little more detail uh, and factors that into allocating the cost, but they're both reasonable methods. Let's check our work. We got 100% because we're smart. I hope this was helpful to you and uh, good luck on the homework.